for the clinic, it's it's not just one day for us, it's, it's an ongoing thing. Building confidence for women, giving opportunities in the workplace, helping them when they want to go for a promotion, these are all things that sit within our inclusion strategy. My name is Prudence, it's supposed to mean cautious, and I didn't used to think about it, but I think I am very overly cautious. Coming here, it's been brilliant. Learning that you have to be bold, just be brave, just go for it. I started in 2006, first in housekeeping, but the good thing about the clinic is they give you opportunities. And I always wanted to be a receptionist, and I did apply, and I love it, every single day of it. In the last 10 years, women have more positions, high positions as a CEO, executives, but it's a long way to go as well. If you look at the London Clinic, we have female directors. You want to see women put themselves in key positions where they can actually make a very effective difference. During the pandemic, it's really been highlighted the female leaders across the globe. And some of the attributes that these women have, things like empathy, compassion, these sorts of things have really shown to be strength. There's a celebratory element to International Women's Day, but it's not all rosy. Inequality still exists within the workplace. When things happen at times, you, you try to dismiss them. But then when you sometimes sit, sit down and start thinking about it, you say, I challenge this, but this is not quite correct. Advocating for somebody else, it's, it's sometimes I find easier to step in, but when to do it for yourself is, is um, sometimes even more difficult. So sometimes you do have to give your opinion strongly but fairly. That's the aim. But choose your battles. What is the bias about? Is it about gender? Is it about age? Is it about race, ethnicity? Your mother or your parents say, oh, you cannot do that, you're a girl. Or you cannot do that because you're a boy. They say, you cannot cry, you're a boy. Men don't cry. Only women can cry. So things like that, they create these little barriers on your head, creating prejudice. I started my nurse training in 1980. On my course, there was one man training to be a nurse. They didn't really quite know what to do with him about the uniform because, you know, they only had dresses. It was definitely seen as a girl profession. And clearly, if you look in the London Clinic today, you'll see much more diversity. So we received the Inclusive Employers Accreditation back in 2019. So we've been on a journey in terms of creating a culture of inclusion, and we are still on that journey. Within the London Clinic, we have so many nationalities. It's incredible. It really ticks my boxes. We all apart a little thing, and all together it make it such a nice thing. Diversities in men, women, culture, language. I mean, how fantastic is that? That we can all be together and work together to strive for the same purpose, which is excellence in healthcare. When you make your stand, you have to maintain it. As if something isn't remembered, then it's forgotten and you want the younger generation to actually understand the amount of work sometimes that had to go into bringing women to where they are today.